mgkente.com. Hello, everyone. It's me, Demetra K of the Demetra K Show here on YouTube and a proud contributor of the African Diaspora News Channel and the African Diaspora News Insider. If you could please do me a favor and subscribe to all channels and like this video, I would greatly appreciate it. So this story is coming to us from New Jersey at a restaurant called El Patron, where a 14-year-old walked into the restaurant and tried to hand her baby over to the employees. And so a customer by the name of Elise Scott saw what was going on, and she said the following. I said, do you mind if I check the baby's vitals? So she readily hand the baby over to me. And so my focus went right on to the baby. So as you saw there, she says, you know, do you mind if I check the baby to check his vitals and all of that? And she said, you know, she readily handed her over. And then you can see uh, the little girl walks out of the restaurant. So she said, um, she being at least that she noticed the baby was having a hard time breathing. So she administered a CPR because she is certified in that. And she said the baby began to start breathing. And then when the paramedics showed up, they put um, a breathing um, apparatus on the baby. And she said the cutest thing happened when the baby tried to uh, suck the um, breathing thing. So she said she knew the baby was going to be all right because she was hungry. And so the 14-year-old, who is nameless because she's a minor, um, is not going to face charges because luckily New Jersey is what they call like a safe haven state to where you can... Uh, up to 30 days, give the baby over without any questions asked, right? Because it's better than the alternative, which a lot of people um, end up throwing the baby away. And, you know, you guys know the rest from there. And so um, the baby will be put up for adoption. But Elise and her boyfriend, who was there at the time, um, Walter said that they would love to be the uh, baby's godparents. And so that is an awesome thing. Thank God that baby is okay. And thank God for good Samaritans like Elise and her boyfriend. Big ups to them for saving that baby's life and not judging that 14 year old because can you imagine being a 14 year old in that situation? God knows what she was going through before she made the decision to hand her baby over. So thank God she had the wherewithal to do that. And so anyway, you guys, for more insightful commentary, please subscribe to this channel and my channel, The Demetri K Show here on YouTube. Peace. In search of a financial opportunity to pay off student loans, a young black American woman moves to South Korea to work. As the author, Bootsy W. recalls culture shock and fun adventures in a country far from home. She's also faced with anti-black racism and featureism, quickly learning that white supremacy is practiced not only by whites, but by those that are categorized as people of color. Based on her 10 years of living abroad, the book Ego Igo compares and contrasts Korea versus the United States on subjects such as code, communal living, racism, effective protests, global alliances, warrior class, music, political correctness, health, aging, money, and the coronavirus. This blunt memoir is uncomfortable, humorous, and educational. Help fight propaganda and mainstream agendas by picking up a copy of Ego I Go on Amazon.com. Hello everyone. Please make sure you subscribe to the African Diaspora News Channel app on these platforms.